I'm right here with Brandon. Brandon is an actor at Screen World who plays an outside. What, what is your job description? Uh, uh, I would say zombie, but I'm more of a, a carny, I guess. A carny a, guy. A, an undead carny. Undead carny, so okay. Make, I make fun of a lot of people. I throw a lot of one liners out. Uh, I'm comic relief, I guess. I'm also a distraction for some of the other, okay. uh, other zombies. And how, how many years have you worked at Stream, Screen World now? Uh, I believe it's been three years. This will be my third year. Okay. So. Now, is. is do you, does your character have a name? Uh, no, not at all. Not that okay. I know of. <laughs> okay. And, and, and has your character always been kind of this wild, carny kind of character? Uh, my character has always been boisterous. Uh huh. Always had somewhat of a carny feel, but I've went from vampire to carny to a zombie eating my own flesh. It really changes every night. So. Oh, every night. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I, I'm something different always, but I've always yeah. got a boisterous, make fun of people type attitude. So. Okay. Now, were you always making fun of people, or is that something that emerged? Um, I think it kind of started when uh, when I first started working in haunted houses, um, simply because we were told not to interact with the customers, and everybody developed a growl, or everybody developed a scare of some sort, and. I didn't find that natural or, or, or easy. It uh -huh. came nat more natural for me to smack talk to people. Right. So that's it kind of developed over time. And, and how do you decide who to pick on? Um, usually I don't go for the person who's the most scared, even though they may be an initial target. Um, I pick on someone else in the crowd or the, someone else okay. that's with them. Um, I try and... Uh, find the most interactive person that's going to cause the most of a scene okay. around them. Um, not only for me to possibly break away and scare someone in the vicinity, but so that someone else can also come in behind the behind them. Oh, behind so the group it's like you distract them so and I'll, creep I'll up behind. I'll make or... a distraction for either myself or for someone someone else to sneak up behind, yeah. I got you. Okay. Hey, quiet! Be quiet! Don't you look at me either! And where do you see your, your character going? Um, honestly, I, I I think he's I think he's where he's supposed to be. I, I I can always do more. I can always I change it so much that I think I've got a well uh, an amount of characters that I'll simply develop more characters yeah. from that. I, I don't think that it's going to go any further per se. Right. But it will branch off into more. Sure. Differences and variations. And, and, and does your character have a backstory? Why? Why is your character the way it is? Um, it, it's kind of hard to say. I started um, working uh, in uh, as the Marquis de Sade in one of uh, in an attraction, and he was very vocal and very boisterous. If anybody knows anything about the Marquis de Sade, and he was locked away for insanity and things that he had written, so I, I kind of grew from that. Uh, outwardly, uh -huh. and, and, and voicing my opinions and voicing what was going on around me. Okay. So he, he kind of grew from there. All right. Don't look at me. I'm hideous. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. So what's on for tonight? What's your agenda for tonight? Uh, tonight is uh, is an easy night. It's uh, it's only a couple of hours, so I, I'm I'm taking it slow. I'm annoying kids with fake rubber mice, so... <laughs> Don't look at me! I got a rubber mousey! I just handed out about five of them, so I think we're good. I'm just kind of playing uh, playing dumb, actually, so kind of taking it down, giving it a little bit of a rest tonight, kind of get my voice ready for tomorrow, because i got a full day of work tomorrow, so... Yeah, the uh, voice is yeah. The, the voice must be difficult to maintain. Uh, it is, um, and depending on which character I'm working with, it, it does more damage to my throat than, than others. Um, right. The voice I'm using tonight's real easy, real light. It's kind of, you know, push it through here and kind of growl through your throat. Right. And kind of, you know, just kind of get in here. Right. Moody! <laughs> and do something <laughs> crazy, and you kind of use different parts of your face, different parts of your throat to alter your voice. So. Yeah, I got you. All right, we'll get some shots of you in action tonight. Sounds good. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm.